the book, Coach, what was your evaluation of how the guys did and how pleased are you with the effort? I mentioned to him last night, and um, I mentioned to him again here, just a uh, job well done for what we needed to get done here. Uh, we just we got to keep going. I mean, it's not it's not done here, but we've got to keep rolling. But their their effort and attitude and everything was was good, and um, I appreciated that. As did the coaches. Yeah. Coach, for the next season game, what is your plan to use the starters? Yeah. So, like I mentioned yesterday, we'll go um, uh, you know a half somewhere there about with, with the stars, and then the twos and threes will take the second uh, the second half, which is the third and fourth quarter. We'll just split it up there. What advice would you give those players who you already know may make the, first, the, the 46? What advice would you give them to try to, you know, become the final seven or, you know, hopes of making the team? Yeah, so I, I tell them right at the beginning, don't count the numbers in the line. Just go. Do your best. And, and that's really, you know, to answer that question, go do your best. You don't have to overdo it or you're going to mess up. You, you don't want to count the numbers in the line and get intimidated by that and, you just go do your best. You have an opportunity to play, get on tape. So if you don't make it here, you might make it somewhere else. Yeah, so, you know, the, the basics. So understand the scheme. Um, if you're on special teams, do well on special teams. Execution becomes an important thing. The basics. Andy, we've talked to you about Willie Gay before, but I'm wondering, we're talking to him today, so I'm wondering what the, the difference you've seen from him as you close out this camp with, you know, he's behind last uh, and not getting some off season. Yeah, so I think he's more comfortable with the scheme so he can play faster. And so you get to see his athletic ability out here and make a play. So that's, uh, uh, that's important. And you just got to stay on top of it. He's young. You just have to stay on top of it. Spags, uh, it's a complicated defense, and... Um, but if you stay on top of it, you're going to be good. Yeah. So Larry, Larry's doing. Both of them are doing well. They're they're healing up fast. Um, and we're, we're, you got to be a little cautious with both of them with the with the injuries that they had. So, um, but they're both doing very well. And Larry's is more of a healing, a bone healing. So, um, but it's. That part's doing well, and um, and then Kyle, you know, had a, a major surgery there, so that that's uh, um, he's doing well too. So he's he's moving around, he's jogged a little bit, and that's a good thing. Andy, 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 you know, how do you feel he's settling into that position as camp has progressed? That he's finally had a full training camp. Yeah, I think it's great for him to get in. He came he came in in good shape. I mentioned that before, um, and that's helped him. So th where he can actually play and not be so fatigued that he can't can't function uh, mentally. Andy, you said you figured it's mad because we thought the COVID thing was going away. Uh, your players are going back home. What's your message to them about staying safe, safe and being smart? Yeah, so uh, even though we've had shots, you, you want to, you know, be cautious with what you do, but uh, they've still got to live their life, you know, the best they, they can. But be smart. And um, I know these guys, they talk to their families and they tell me, hey, you come here, you better – you better be vaccinated and that type of thing. So, um, which isn't always an easy thing to do with family and friends, but the, the guys have been good with that. So, yeah. Last one, Nate. Did, did, did the vaccination percentage go up at all during camp? And, and, did you, and just to clarify, did you say Kyle did have surgery on his knee? Yeah. Okay. And did, the, did the vaccination numbers change at all from the start of camp to where we are now in terms of? Yeah, we've had one more do it than what we had before, yeah. But, I mean, we were right. Right there at the top, yeah, yeah. So. All right, thanks. All right, good. Let me hey, let me just say one thing. Uh, we appreciate the people here. They did a they did a great job, which they they've always done, and, and we just appreciate the hospitality that the St. Joe, the city, and Missouri Western State University has given us. And I'm sure you guys feel the same way. It's a it's a nice setup. So thank you. Thank you.